Hey gang, Kevin McMullen, AuthenticGolf.net, owner of the Authentic Golfer and GetMGS websites. Want to talk about arm hang and uh, something that we don't really think about. Uh, want to get right to it. Don't want a big video, so here we go. Um, we want our arms to hang loose and free, totally relaxed. Um, if we don't, then we have little chance of making an effective, uh, powerful golf swing. So I'm going to teach you a technique that will allow you to do that every time. I um, also want to talk about the difference grip can make in the setup and how we stand to the ball. Arm hang. When I stand straight, my arms hang to my side. And as I bend over, my arms go down in front of me. And when we take our golf stance, we want our arms to hang in such a way that they just hang there naturally. I know it sounds like, well, yeah, that's what I do. But there's some swing systems and even some teaching that uh, has you do, you know, holding your arms out wide like no, Mo Norman, for example. And, you know, that's not natural. It's going to be hard to maintain that relationship. And there's others that have you pulling it close. And a lot of this also has to do with body anatomy. I'm thick chested, uh, just a little bit overweight. So I have to place my hand on top of my chest so I can get my club back and then bend down from there. But basically, if my arm hangs so that they're right over my toes, like so, that's a good arm hang. And then all I do is just dock my hands with the club for whatever grip I'm taking, make my set, swing back and through. All right? Now, the grip that we take has a huge effect on uh, the shaft's relationship as we take our address. Traditional golf grip, where the grip runs along the base of the fingers and is more strong, can see that I'm going to be bent over more see that now a more Norman or single axis transverse lead hand grip the grip faces the back of the hand faces the target more and the grip runs from the joint of the index finger that joins the hand, the lowest joint, to the heel pad of the hand. A lot of these single axis advocates call that a transverse lead hand grip. And you can see that my hand faces the target. Now here's the thing I want you to get. In either case, after you take your lead hand grip and as you address the ball, I want you to allow your arms to be so relaxed that the weight of the club pulls your lead hand into ulnar deviation. This is ulnar deviation. This is radial deviation. Ulnar deviation, radial deviation. If we do that, we can be assured that we got a pretty good relaxed arm. See how I'm having to hold it there like that? That's not good. But when I relax it, it goes down, and then from there, I just address the ball. Now you can see with the Mo Norman grip, which I've kept here, I'm much more erect. With the traditional golf grip, On our deviation, into the ball. I'm bent over more and the shaft points more toward my zipper. Traditional golf. Either way is effective. You can make a good swing with either grip. Doesn't really matter. But the thing I want you to get is I want you to have your lead arm so relaxed that the weight of the club, without changing your grip characteristics, takes your arm into full ulnar deviation and then 
measure to the ball. Measure down to the ball like that. If we don't, we're going to get inconsistency in our swing because we'll have a different tension and a different amount every time. So let it go all the way down and bend to the ball, keeping that relaxed. Make your twist, your setup, dock to the ball, make your swing. One more time with the conventional grip. Base of the fingers, stronger, on our deviation, pull me down. Hopefully that helps. Got to have the arms relaxed in order to make a good swing. Kevin McMullen of FennecGolf.net, author of A Blueprint for Golf Excellence, Building a Complete Game, the third edition, which will be out soon. It'll have sections on chipping, putting, pitching, speed swing development, swing speed development, and then a section on the minimalist golf swing uh, setup and swing also. You have a great day and good luck on the rest of the season.